Hey Greetings YouTube, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And I have here a much requested lower dollar machine, a Hoover Wind Tunnel Max bag or UH3600. This machine is essentially a modernized Hoover Tempo for those who are familiar with that machine. This machine has a nice brush roller shutoff switch, carpet height adjustment, and onboard tools along with that's right, it has a HEPA bag with a nice gasket on there. This machine's a decent budget option for those who are looking not to break the bank and buying a vacuum cleaner or people who are just getting their first apartment or even a small home. I wouldn't recommend it for anything above 2,000 square feet, but it's, it will get the job done in most situations and is very affordable and available on Amazon. Now you can hear it does have some kind of quirks and features where they did kind of sacrifice some of the quality in terms of the plastics, but it's much better than something like a Shark or a Dyson or something like that. Um, definitely a step above a Dirt Devil um, as well. So I think this is better than anything you can buy at Walmart or Target currently. The machine has a pedal release kind of in an odd position right here and then the pedal release uh, in typical Hoover fashion is a double pedal which means you really can't uh, get it all the way flat easily even if I reach under here and try to manipulate that there's no way to get this machine all the way flat uh, again in this price range that's perfectly acceptable your on and off switch is right there and like I said with a manual height adjustment it's a really nice addition, especially for those who have higher power carpet. I want to talk a little bit about the onboard accessories. This does have an optional turbo tool that would be mounted here, but I want to talk about the hose, how that's mounted. So in the past, what Hoover's done is they've high mounted their hose. They've done the opposite with this. A low mounted hose means you can pull this nice long stretch hose and the machine's not going to fall over. So that's really a big improvement from past Hoovers. Um, what does leave a little bit to be desired is that's your wand situation. You get a wand and a crevice tool, which means if you're really trying to do up high cleaning, that's going to be a little bit difficult with this machine. Now you can buy or get additional wands from your local vacuum store or Hoover dealer, so not a huge deal. The dusting brush is much the same way. Uh, it's not the nicest, but again, we don't expect super nice tools in this price point. And this has some nice sandwich construction going on, which will make this very durable uh, in the future in terms of how this is made. But I to show how intricate this pedal release is. So there's a metal piece right here that brings up the uh, idler pulley. And this is activated by the main body when it's brought in the upright position. But then the actual switch, and you can see there's a metal cam going into a plastic piece. To get to the belt and the normal maintenance items, you remove five screws. The brush roller and belt are easy to get to. One of the great things about Hoover's is parts availability. So I'll link below to the belt and the brush roller. And all the screws on the base plate were the same. That was a nice surprise. All right, now on to the bags and the rest of the stuff. And I'll put a link in the description to the proper vacuum bags. You want to make sure you use genuine bags. Do not use the replacements for this. They are quite bad. I'm going to put that filter in there. And then this filter on the side is not an allergen filter. It is to catch motor carbons, if you're wondering what its purpose is, and that's all it does. So really all the filtration on this machine is done in the HEPA bag, making all this work. And the great thing about this is that just slides into place. So super easy to put into place properly. Um, kind of takes the guesswork out of changing the bag if you've ever mess with an old school vacuum. This machine does have a full back indicator. We're going to see if it works at our high altitude. Yes, I would say that the full bag indicator works. I know if you're watching this video, you're probably not super into vacuums. 
So I want to give you an idea of the Hoover's power compared to some other vacuums that are like $1,500. Some of them are like $2,000. Uh, I have here a Kirby and a Mila, and these are widely considered some of the more powerful vacuums that money can buy. So I want to compare those uh, for you. First up, the Mila. And then the next one I'm going to do is the Kirby. Look at these numbers compared to the Hoover. You can see that the Hoover really is quite impressive considering it cost about a tenth or less uh, than these two machines here. We're going to do a pickup test on the Hoover. First, we're going to do breakfast cereal, flour, we have cat litter, followed by some fresh dog hair. Let's see how this Hoover does. snow plow a little bit of the breakfast cereal that could be changed probably by messing with the height adjustment now there is a little bit of something I want to add to this is I knew this was going to do very well because from the carpet and rug Institute it has a bronze rating we're gonna do now that same test on hard floor now I've switched the brush roller off and dropped the height adjustment down to a bare floor setting. Let's see how it does. Well, you can see without even trying it got pet hair. Left a little bit of the fine flour behind. No cat litter, no breakfast cereal, snow plowed or left behind. I'm going to elaborate a little bit on why the hard floor pickup test didn't pick up so much flour. You can see the width of this nozzle. I have here just a standard bare floor tool that you'd find on a bare floor oriented vacuum or a canister vacuum. You can see that it's very narrow in comparison. You also see that there is a squeegee or a set of brushes in the rear. That's really important to help channel suction. If this had a squeegee, it would probably do much better, but since it doesn't, that bare floor pickup's kind of an afterthought, and they do make a model that doesn't even have a brush roller stop at all, and that model cannot do hard floor at all. So that's something to keep in mind. If you have a lot of hard floor, this is probably not the vacuum for you, but if you just have a bathroom or a kitchen, this will probably get you by, especially if you're in a smaller living area like an apartment. All right, we're going to talk about stair cleaning with the Hoover. Um, this being an upright, it's really not meant for stairs. If you had to do it, you could. Uh, part of the problem is it doesn't really balance on stairs all that well, so it could potentially fall down the stairs. So what you really want to do with this is it's got a nice long stretch hose. You want to set it up against the stairs and then go up all like right, this. As now you can I'm see, I'm on the top flight of my stairs no problem and there's still plenty of room so I really like that performance I have the turbo tool right here Well, that was sure loud, and I'm not even using the regular microphone. Um, so that's something to be desired. You might want to wear ear protection while you're doing that. Other than that, the machine's pretty quiet. As you can see, the cord is a decent length on the machine. It goes almost all the way down my hallway, but not quite to my bedroom. But again, in the budget sector, this is kind of what I expect. In conclusion, I think the Hoover wind tunnel bagged. 
has some shortcomings, but I think a lot of that is built into the price of the machine, which is very reasonable right now. You can go on Amazon, click the link below, you can see the latest prices. But basically, this machine does hard floors, it does carpets, it has a CRI certification, and it takes a HEPA bag that's relatively easy to change. The idea being that HEPA bag, when it gets heavy enough, will just drop out of there. Very easy to load up. And if you're not familiar with bagged vacuums, you don't change the bag every time you vacuum. Typically, that bag's in there for a couple months before you need to change it in most cases. Um, the machine has a carpet height adjustment, so it will work on your higher pile carpets or soft carpets. Like any upright, the tools are kind of an afterthought, but they're there. Now, I looked on Amazon. This machine had some mixed reviews, so I just wanted to address that. This machine is made in China, so if you have a failure, it's probably going to happen right out of the box. Hoover has a really good network of local dealers and service centers throughout the country. If you live in a major city, you can basically go to a local independent vacuum shop, and they will fix it or get it replaced for you. Uh, typically, they're going to fix it just something that's done. They're old school that way, and these are meant to be serviced, as I talked about in the shop. Um, so that really bugs a lot of people, and I see some negative reviews online of people who just didn't want to drive 20 or 30 minutes to go to their service center. So for old school people, that's not going to be a problem, but some of our Generation X and our Millennials probably aren't going to like that policy. And this price tag is planned obsolescence, but I think if you're looking to have a vacuum for five years or less, this is definitely a great option. Again, the price is right. And I think this is better than everything else in the segment, including anything you can currently find at your Walmart, your Target, someplace like that. This machine is designed for a smaller household, I would say under 1,500 square feet. 2,000 square feet might be pushing it with this unless you have another vacuum. And it's definitely not meant for a big 5,000 plus square foot house like I own. But again, the price is right on this machine. So again, links below. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Comment below. If you have one of these, I'd love to hear from you and your experiences with it. And please consider a subscription to Performance Reviews, where we give you the review based on the technician's point of view. And have a wonderful day.